How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. I just want to stop and say thank you for all the support on the recent videos of FIFA 21. This is the full game, of course, and uh, thank you so much. The support has been absolutely amazing. Uh, the game is out today at uh, 4 p.m. UK, I do believe. So, anyways, in terms of early access and the 10 hours that you do get. But today, we're going to review Diogo Jota, brand new of Liverpool. We're going to review him today and see what he's like for maybe starter teams, maybe teams that are starting out that just want, I don't know. Someone good, five star weak foot, four star skills. He's actually a decent player on this game, and we're gonna showcase him to you today. So if you do enjoy it, you know what to do. Bring that like, smash that like, subscribe to the channel and the second channel if you are brand new around here. And make sure you bring that hype in general, lads. Smash a like, uh, comment in the comment section below. Let me know who you do want to review on this channel in general. It could be a starter player, it could be a mid-tier player, it could be an end game player. And I'm talking about end game with the start game, lads. It's all messed up. But if you do want to see any reviews, simply drop it in the comment section below. Now Diogo Jota, five star week, but that's going to be the selling points with this guy. He's got high, high work rate, so he's up, he's down, he's all around, and he's got a lot of energy on this game, and it is noticeable when you do use him. Now his record there is 16 games, 16 goals, 9 assists. Now in terms of that, some of it's squad battles, but I'm not going to showcase or review him off squad battles in any way, shape, mean or form. It is literally off division rivals and division rivals only. Uh, right foot primarily, but he's got a 5-star weak foot, so it doesn't matter. And the 4-star skill move sets, and he is 5 foot 10. In terms of in-game stats, boys, you can see right there, he's got 88 acceleration, 79 sprint speed. Now, he's got a basic chem style on him right now. The one I would recommend is Marksman. He's fast enough. He is fast enough on this game. You want to boost the finishing, lads. It's not the greatest in the world, but his shot power is not too bad at 82. He's got 82 attack position, 77 finishing, like I did see. Uh, 90, uh, 74 long shots. 94 long shots? I wish. Uh, his long shots aren't the greatest in the game as well. I need to say that straight away. Volleys are 75. They're not bad. Uh, I mean, it's got a good volley, which you will see in the gameplay. Uh, he's got Parson. That doesn't represent a winger. I'm going to say it straight away. He's a winger on this game. He's a left wing, left forward, left mids. Uh, he's got 68 crossing. Crossing is viable this year. Heading is viable this year. So crossing, uh, you need to be a good crosser of the ball if you're going to be a winger. Uh, if you do want to play that kind of style. 68 crossing and 68 long pass with 72 short pass. 76 skip isn't the best in the world. Uh, he's got 87 agility, 86 balance. He's got 82 reactions, 84 ball control, 84 dribbling and composure. A lot of 84s in there. Uh, physical. He's got it. 79 stamina, not too bad. 73 strength, not too bad. And 85 aggression is absolutely phenomenal. As for his traits, solid player. That's it. <laughs> solid uh, player. But his uh, speciality, speed dribbler, gives you a taste in what he could be in game. And speaking of in game, let's get in the game, in game clips that we did record with Diogo Jota. Let's review this beast. So here we go on into the gameplay. You're going to see goals, you're going to see assists, you're going to see intricate plays between Diogo Jota and his teammates. As uh, Defrel wins the ball back right there. Defrel's going to play it to the edge of the area. I think this is where Diogo Jota gets involved with a sneaky little pass. Look at that back heel, man. That is very, very special. And that is an L2 back heel. Now, if the game's looking frame you or anything like that, I don't know why. But I will sort it. I will sort it. I'm not too sure why it is all framey right now. But I will sort it in the coming days. Uh, definitely. As the boss come back. It's a lovely finish by Diogo Jota into the back of the net. He's, uh, uh, Tis, uh, well, who, who is this on the ball here? Was that Tijera? This is my opponent. This is my opponent on the ball. Plays at the edge. Good block. And we will counter-attack from this and get a chance. Now, one of the key things with Diogo Jota is the acceleration upon the card. It's it is. It's fantastic. Now, his acceleration is key because pace is definitely integral into what you do on this game in terms of attacking. The pace is definitely something, and it is noticeable in game. Lovely finish there by Diogo Jota into the back of the net. So, again, his shot power is good. His accuracy isn't always the best in the world. Did miss quite a few chances uh, for me over the course of the games. And... Um, yeah, he's, he's a good player, lads. He's got pace, he's got acceleration, and uh, he's got pace on the ball, too. So he's not only fast off the ball, he's fast on the ball with a great, great agility of 87. And that was plus five of me, so went actually 92. Um, shot power. It's good. You've seen in the background, he's a very good finisher of the ball. When it comes to shot power, finishing, he does miss chances. Shot power, sensational at times. His dribbling is absolutely fantastic. You look at the dribbling category, man. It's 84. Nowhere near does it represent an 80 rated player. 
Lads, 84. 87 agility, he's got 84. Uh, 86 balance, 82 reactions, and 84 some ball control, dribbling, and composure. That is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely amazing. Now, what I found bad with his cards was his long shots as he smashes in another there at the far post with his five star weak first. Uh, his long shots weren't the greatest in the world, so if you do get a chance outside the area with Diogo Jota, don't always go for the long shot, boys. Great play here by Diogo Jota, utilizing that acceleration, uh, and it actually gives us a chance in the goal by Bruno Fernandes. Uh, his passing. Nah, it's not good. Uh, it's 72 short pass for a, a playmaker, for a winger, for someone that needs passing in his game. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough. His crossing and passing is terrible at times. Now, I'd mark those down as cons against the guard. The best stats, acceleration, agility, 88 and 87 respectively. And the worst crossing and short passes, which speaks volumes for his passing been one of his cons, as uh, I do want to with the keeper's legs right there, and sap it into an empty net. The price on this card, you see it in the top left-hand corner of your screen, 7,000 coins. Now, this is at the moment where not too many people have the game. When the game, like, is released, um, today, I believe it is, lads, it, it, this price could go up a little bit, or it could, could come down. Now, I'm not too sure how his price is going to be affected by the release or anything like that, but he is a good player on this game. We win the challenge there. It's Lacazette on the ball. Lacazette plays it in to Fernandes. Back to Lacazette. Lacazette really doesn't do anything. Comes to you, Diogo Jota. Lads. <laughs> you love to see things like that. Now, what a finish that is by Diogo Jota. And his volleys are good as well. 75. So, a shot power volleys. That combination is very good. I flicked it up, hit it on the volley, and it was very, very good. What I want to mention as well is the aggression. He's very aggressive in the challenge. He wins the ball back numerous, numerous times. And this is down to his aggression. He's got 85 aggression now, And he's very tenacious. Tenacious from the front. And if you've got pressure heavy touch, Pat, he's going to go in head down, aiming for the shins. And he's going to win the ball back. This is a nice play again. Into Diogo Jota. Flicks that. Gives him another chance, man. In back of the net. Easy as you like, boys. Easy as you like. And the main one, which everybody knows about this card, is the four... Nah, not the four-star skills, but that's definitely pro in itself. It's the five-star weak foot. That's what you're purchasing with Diogo Jota. As he intercepts his ball, and I just go on a run with Diogo Jota. Try the little back heel. It gets intercepted by Pogba, but we do win the ball back. It's like a Z on the ball. Like a Z does really well. Not really well. Uh, yeah, lads. For, for me... Diogo Jota is all about the five-star weak foot in the pace. Um, I'm not talking about sprint speed. I'm talking about acceleration and speed on the ball because his agility is so damn high. It's Florian Tovan on the ball. Tovan does well and then loses the ball. But we will get a chance in this move with Diogo Jota. Um, my opponent will also get a chance as well. As he does come down with Paco Alcacé. Or how do you say his name? Alcacé? Alcacé? I'm not too sure. Really, really not too sure. We win the ball back. We go on the counter-attack. It's Ren Adelaide into Lacazette, into Diogo Jota. Lads, look at the acceleration and pace that he's got at times. Lovely pass, lovely cut inside as well. Gets a chance, gets a chance. Finishing. It's not always the best. But lads, that is Diogo Jota. You've seen the, the gameplay highlights with Diogo Jota. I've been through the pros, the cons, the price. Let's get into the summary. So that was Diogo Jota in a nutshell, or in a review, as this is the case. It's it's a review. But uh, Diogo Jota is really good. He is really good, but I've got to keep my expectations realistic at this stage in the game. Uh, 7.8 is my overall rating for the cards. Uh, it could be way, way better than he already is, but for a starter team, I see the value, and it does get an 8 out of 10 for the value. 7,000 coins isn't that bad, especially if you've got someone like a Bruno Fernandes to link him to, you know what I'm saying? Or you've got a Liverpool player, maybe a midfielder, maybe a striker, Divock Origi for a starter team. Um, you maybe got Henderson for a starter team, not too sure. Um, but Diogo Jota is definitely a viable option for a lot of teams starting out, because you get a lot of coins in this game, lads. I don't think you realise that in the placement matches, you do get a lot of coins. If you win all five, you get over 100k. You win four, you get 90k. Uh, I won two, drew two, and lost... Uh, drew two... No, drew one, won two, lost two, and I got 44,000 coins. Lads, people are going to snap cards like this up easily. In terms of enjoyment, he did bring enjoyment. He gets an 8.5 in that category. Foot champ status, he'd be a starter. Now, this is obviously for the starter foot champs. He would be a starter. Otherwise, going on into the future... 
definitely a super sub. Definitely a super sub. 16 games, some bit squad battles, 16 goals, and 9 assists. None of those were taken into consideration when making the review of the squad battles games, of course. 8.70 first rival games, 7.1. I wasn't playing the best last night, man. And he got an 8.6 as well. His name is Diogo Jota. It gives you good links as well. Portuguese links. And strong link into Bruno. Strong link into Liverpool players. Strong link into a lot of Wolves players. They've got a lot of Portuguese players. The similar player would be Ivan Perisic. Perisic is similar in terms of statistical layouts and uh, five star weak foot. I believe Perisic starts a five star weak foot. Key Pro will be that five star weak foot. The Kick on will be the passing. Best chem style would be Marksman and the rating per position with a Marksman chem style attach, which would have changed this year, would be an 85 center forwards, 85 left forward, 84 left wing, 83 cam, and an 82 left mid. Of course, that's vice versa, left to right. Uh, under 100k, Diogo Jota is obviously 7k right now, but uh, I've got no one to compare him to because I haven't reviewed any other players within that position, but those lists will get full up as we do go along and you can see the, the list down the bottom the passing he's getting a six that was his worst thing about the guards there's no doubt about that shooting seven physical seven his aggression ups are massively in that, uh, that category and the drill is neat the drill is far beyond expectations of an 80 rated card lads that's where we're gonna end the review today i hope you have enjoyed if you have once again a like would be very much appreciated from you guys subscribe to the channel and the second channel if you're brand new around here remember second channel will be starting the uploads very very soon and those will be more content from myself of course right now you're getting the rcg you're getting reviews and you'll get other content in the future but the second channel any content that doesn't go on this channel will go on there so it's basically a more martial 89 hd channel it's called martial 89 gaming but thank you for spending your time to watch this review today if you have enjoyed a like would be very much appreciated from you guys subscribe to both channels uh drop a comment how's your day going is it going well let me know but as always lads i hope you have enjoyed and i will catch you all next time <laughs>